All right, Sweaty Mix is going to join as well. So we we have a lobby. Bam. Going to do a 2v2 lobby. This should be interesting. BO3 ro rotation. Hence, hopefully they, they know what that means. So everybody's going to play with everybody else one time. And one time only. We've got Alex161. Uh, I think he might... I don't know if he's still... Or, or, I don't think he's in an org right now. But formerly of Epsilon, runner-up of the Gfinity Elite Series last season. Lighty, rank S player. One of the few players outside of our LCS who managed to get invited to R to rank S. So that's pretty impressive. And Sweaty Mix, of course, he's been on stream playing ones before. But he's very good at twos. Maybe even a twos main these days. And OSM, who has yet to have a really solid showing on stream he's been extremely nervous but uh, you guys have seen him on stream recently he's been trying to make a make a name for himself streaming 1v1s I swung by his stream earlier today it looked like he had a lot of problems good save by Lighty there that was a great pass as well by Alex161 so these guys are all going to play two, three games of twos and they're going to try one um, game with every t uh, possible team so either we're going to have one clear winner or one clear loser. No, 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 we don't use director mode. Don't be silly. And I think Lighty. I'm going to put my money on Lighty. He's, he is the keyboard player, so a man after my own heart. Maybe the best keyboard player in the world. Rank S is a new uh, ranked mode that's come out. They have a Discord and pro players that are in RLCS. Um, and I think, I don't know if there's other players besides the RLCS pros that get invited. Many. There's Yukio and Lauti. I don't know if anybody else. But they're two great threes players in in EU. Very respected threes, 3v3 players. But yeah, rank S is you just queue up and then the Discord will find you a lobby out of other people who are queuing. And only pro players from RLCS and I believe Yukio and Lauti are allowed to queue. So it's only the elite. Of the only, only the best of the best. I think that sometimes some EU players play on NA and vice versa just to get some cross-regional play. So let's see, can Lighty show us why he deserves that spot or can OSM finally have a successful game on stream? We'll see. That's a bit of a nervous tackle by OSM right now. Gets taken out of the game by Sweaty. Alex is extremely solid. He recently shut down Kayo on stream. Very successful win for the German. But so far, not not much going on. This is extremely defensive. I've got a feeling that the a goal is just going to come out of a 50-50 because these guys are not uh, playing too aggressively from the support player position. I've not seen anybody cheating up looking for a pass down the line. Okay, Lighty is going to move out wide there. Trying to find space. I like that. I, I always want my 2v2 teammate to find space. I don't really like when they follow me and um, you know, hope that they hope that I get tackled so that they can then take the ball. I prefer when they go on the other side of the field, you know, open up another avenue of attack. But Lighty here might turn. Yes, he will. This is a very big opportunity, but Lighty doesn't really do much with it. And Alex is good, patient play from him. That was very solid in defense from Alex. 161. Pretty smart to realize he had time to control the ball. Super important in 2v2. I was talking about this earlier when I was playing some threes on stream. Very important to identify whenever you can control the ball and do it because it obviously is going to be very efficient possession-wise. That happens all the time in 2v2. 3v3 it happens much less often because you're under a lot more pressure. There's 50% more opponents going to be attacking you. So obviously you're going to get tackled a lot. But in 2v2, you've got more time to control. That's extremely risky by OSM. I'm super surprised that he went for this, and he's going to get punished. With Alex161 being this far out the game, I do not like this challenge at all by OSM. He's even coming off the wall for that one, which is super risky. And he gets punished by Sweaty. Gets the outplay and recovers and shoots into the open net. Well, it wasn't open, but, you know, he put it over the goalie. That's OSM feeling, feeling nervous again. He's said in uh, the YouTube comments of the other videos I've featured him in that he's felt super nervous when he's on stream because it's a big new experience for him compared to ranked. And now it, that seems to have opened the floodgates for Sweaty and Lauti. They're starting to create more chances now. Still only one goal is separating these guys. OSM and Alex just need to try and count down. That's great play by Alex. Looking at 
to assassinate the defense. OSM had the 1v1, could not flick it over the defender in the final minute of game one. This is super important. If anybody loses this game, that takes away the opportunity for them to be the unanimous winner of the series. You can only then get a three-way tie at best, but Sweaty Mix has taken this lobby completely by the reins. Intercepts a really bad clear by OSM, and that is a great shot by Sweaty off the back wall. He read the ball coming straight down, curving off that ceiling wall rounded area, but he came off the back wall to score that. That's extremely impressive. Looking like the player to watch to start things off. Crossbar pinch from Sweaty, good precision. He needed to be very, very accurate with that touch to avoid an own goal. And unless Alex and OSM can score right now, I don't think it's going to work. They're eight shots to two against them. It's really been Sweaty and Lighty who have done better creating opportunities. That was one of the best chances for OSM. I like the demo as well, but unfortunately Alex is posturing super, super passively. That might just be game. I think Alex should have probably just moved up at the end there because they're not going to... They're obviously not going to win if they just try to defend from a two-goal deficit. Make that a three-goal deficit. The team who did much better at passing and also with clearing was Lighty and Sweaty. I want to point out OSM, another flopped clear. That time he might have been trying to curve that ball up the wall, but he just slapped it off the side. And it came straight back into the middle. It was his bad clear that got the second goal against him as well. So a couple of misplays by OSM. That game. Certainly he's going to need to step up if he wants to come out victorious. Oops, I almost gave somebody a score of 9. That would have been not, not correct. <laughs> that would have been a bit too much. Okay, let's get into game 2. Sweaty and Lighty are going to be against each other for the rest of this series. One of them could still be the unanimous victor. One of them will move up to match point at the end of this game. And of course, one of OSM and Alex will look to... Well, well, they'll obviously still want to grab the third win, but they'll be 0-2 and two after this. Every time we do this, there's always the same score. 2-1-1-2 one, one, two is always the score going into the last game. Every single time, no matter what, that's always the score. You can never have a 2-2-0-0. Two, two, zero, zero. I think Lighty still might pick for the favorite. Although Sweaty was the player getting all the goals last game. I was very impressed with Lighty's defense. Very impressed with his clearing and decision making. Some good speed. See that smooth keyboard turn, it's just gorgeous. OSM gets clean beaten to the ball there. Lighty's going to need to solo defend for a little bit. And OSM certainly looking like the weakest player in the lobby at the moment. Not having a good day right now. Of course he is a 1v1 main, but 1v1 players, they usually transition into 2v2 pretty well. Their ground play is on point for the most part. And with 2v2, you know, of course, you can get aerial play, but you don't need to. Look at this from Sweaty, though. My goodness, what a read. OSM gets punished for trying to chip the ball up. Oh, Sweaty. Sweaty with a great dunk there. OSM did misplay once again. This is the third goal consecutively that he, he himself and his teams have conceded because he's failed to clear the ball. And that's going to be 2-0. This time, Lauti way out of position. He says sorry in the chat. He knows that this is his fault. He goes up for the ball way, way too early. Did not have a... Uh, he did not have good forward momentum. He was a bit too... A bit too fast when he jumps. 2-0 Sweaty and Alex this time looking good. Sweaty might be the player to watch it all of a sudden. Of course, it's I think going to be from here on. Sweaty versus OSM. Can OSM get it together? Doesn't look like he can. Is there Alex with the punish? Sweaty with another great pass. Lauti though, he left OSM in a bit of an awkward place here. Because OSM was alone at the back after Lauti just gave the ball away with a soft clear. So I'd actually give Lauti most of the blame for this game. His fault for two of the goals, I would say. OSM's fault for one of them. But credit to, to uh, Alex and Sweaty. They're doing well. They're taking every single chance that's presented to them. Every single real chance, at least. Rip OSM. He still has a good chance to... Well, if he, if he wins the last game, for example, 
when he's a sweaty team. Then sweaty would be three wins, and everybody else in the lobby would be on one win. And then we just have to take GG sweaty. That's just really, really well played. But yeah, there 50, you know, half the time that we do these lobbies, there's going to be somebody on zero and three. It it happens. It happens to everybody. At some point, you just have a have three bad games in a row. I don't know what Lighty and OSN do to come back here because Sweaty and Alex are both exceptional 1v1 players as well. Although OSM is the probably the best 1v1 player in the bunch here. Um, Sweaty and Alex are top 100 easily. Lighty as well, also top 100. So these guys are all exceptional in defense against dribbles. What do you do against people who are exceptional against dribbles? You pass. So can OSM and Lighty get their passing plays together. There's one attempted. Well played. So right after I mention it, they do exactly that. Great pass, says Lighty, and he's not wrong. This is phenomenal by OSM. Air roll past the middle. Lighty with the win in the race. That's really good decision making by OSM to go for the pass there because he, he knows that although he could dribble sweaty a lot of the time, you know, he doesn't want to slow, go too slow because uh, then Alex might come and ambush him from behind. He doesn't want to, you know, put all his eggs in the in the dribbling basket when the pass looks like a better option. OSM, little awkward position. He does sort of well, but needs to do more. <laughs> Honestly, quite well dealt with. He did well there. <laughs> Unconventional, but uh, well executed by OSM. From a very awkward spot. Didn't get the flip reset, but in comes Light. He doesn't go fast enough, though. That is the danger of going for dribbling plays in 2v2. If you're going to go for a dribbling play, you've got to go quick because you're going to probably get murdered from behind in the current meta game. Everybody who's making a rotation back to defense is probably going to try and demo an opponent on their way. Used to be a lot more situational, but now it just happens every single game. Everybody tries to do it. And it's, you know, why not? If you're going to go past defenders, or uh, rather, past opponents, why not try and murder them? Alright, 1-11 on the clock. Oh, Sam and Lighty have scored from a passing play, but that's really all they've had going for them. The Alex and Sweaty defense has been extremely solid compared to the Lighty and OSM defense. Not leaking any goals. Sweaty makes forces it low. He's going to go to Lighty, though. He wastes it. Lighty is not having a good game. Not having a good game. But there's finally a defensive misplay. Lighty has a big chance. Air roll shot is good. And that's one goal game. It's been over four minutes in the making, but finally, Sweaty whiffs the ball, and Alex had faith in him hitting it, was already committing forward. Both of them making slight misplays. More so Sweaty, though, with a clean whiff. Can he catch up with this? No, he can't. OSM, solid in defense. And now we really have a game in our hands. Lighty. He's lurking in the midfield, looking deadly. Sweaty, can he deal with the threat? Looks like he will. Lightly bodied him off the boost though. That gives OSM a chance. But OSM looking extremely messy in the air. Gets taken out of the game by Alex. Good job by Lightly though, taking it down. No wasted possession here. And now the pass is open in field. Can he find it? OSM comes across a bit early, I think. And it didn't look like Lighty was going to connect regardless. There's another great touch by Lighty though. Oh, OSM has no boost. Lighty trying as desperately as he could to finish. No luck though. And it is going to be Sweaty moving up 2-1. to one. Alex joining Lauti on one point. Well, actually, Sweaty's 2-0. And the only player who can win the lobby outright, OSM says GG. I don't know why he's left. Did he just misunderstand what happens here? Oh, no, he just left the party. He's still here. <laughs> I was confused there. All right. Last game. Sweaty, the only man who can dominate the lobby 3-0. But... Um, in doing so, he'll also be helping OSM get his first victory. So that is, you know, big, big reason for both these guys to want to win. OSM's back with the Batmobile. He did leave the lobby. Not happy with his Octane play. But Alex looking tricky. Look at the plays from Alex. 360 dribble to set this up. Sweaty backed all the way off. <laughs> Alex just playing with his food. What a play. He realized that Sweaty might not challenge if he popped it. Sort of faking an air dribble setup or maybe a, a volley setup. But it was, it was just a setup for a catch. Completely out mind game Sweaty mix. 
Alex and Lauti, of course, have the chance to tie Sweaty Mix for first sequel if they win this game. They're just trying to help each other win the lobby in a draw. Alex wants this one. Not a lot of power on that shot. He could have done better. I think the defense would have barely been able to get um, get back in time. There's a good passing play. Phenomenal play by Sweaty and OSM. Should have been a goal. Sweaty, I think if he'd put that exactly in the corner, it would have been unstoppable. Good save by OSM. He nearly gets a second touch on it as well. Sweaty looking for a second touch himself. Gets it. Gets bumped up the wall. That wasn't Sweaty, Sweaty's intention. He actually got rammed up the wall into that by Lighty. And look at the shot from Alex. Not bad. Sweaty trying to just take control of the ball a lot in defense. And OSM is being left to do a lot of the saves. Clearing the ball from danger. Alex is looking like a changed man though. He's looking so threatening. And he set up Lighty for an open net. At least the top corner was open. Completely mind gaming OSM that time was Alex. Good play by Lighty to get the height on that ball. It wouldn't have been a goal if he shot it any lower, so well played by him. We had an open top corner, but I mean, far from an open net. 2-0. OSM, like the chat has pointed out, just can't catch a break here. He is running into people who are on farm every single time that they play against him. I'm sure that an element of confidence against OSM will be uh, part of the reason for that. This is a great shot by Sweaty. Holy cow, what an air roll shot that is. He didn't need to put it on target because OSM was there, but what a play by Sweaty to get that angle with so much power. Expect Sweaty to go for this. Okay, no, OSM's going to go with Batmobile confidence. I wasn't a fan of um, OSM's Batmobile switch when he did this in 1v1, but who knows, it might, it might work out this time. I'll reserve judgment till after the game. 2-1 the Lighty. And Alex still looking very, very good right now. Apart from that one great passing play that Sweaty and OSM were able to do. It doesn't look that threatening for Alex and Lighty. That being said, 2 minutes 46 in the clock. This could certainly go back into OSM and Sweaty's favor. Sweaty waiting for a pass, but OSM wanted a ceiling shot. Very high level, high skill, high difficulty plays being attempted. Sam wobbles the landing. I don't know if that was the Batmobile's fault that time. Didn't look like he landed square, flat on all wheels. I keep bat fingering five when I'm trying to press six on my keyboard. All right, Sweaty again, trying to take control of the ball in the corner. This has been where most of the game has been played, just the orange team corner. Which isn't a problem if you're in 2v2 and you're stuck in your corner a lot. It's not that big a deal. It's not a, pl a position that the other team are going to be able to use that effectively. So don't be, don't be too worried if that's happening in your own game. The worst thing you can do is soft clear the ball from the corner because what the one thing that players, especially at a high level, will do is just wait at the halfway line, try and intercept that clear when it does happen. Alex going for a triple touch. The chip into the backboard hit into the rebound from very close range there. That's what he was trying to execute. As Lighty navigates his way past Sweaty. Still dominating. Triple touches, I imagine, by mistake there. As Lighty rolled it into the middle. Still, this is a lot of defending for Lighty. Or for uh, Sweaty and OSM. This is dangerous play. That's wide open for an interception. It's honestly surprised to see Lighty and Alex going for such a crossfield passing play as that when they're already up. Oh, the pre-jump from Lighty! He gets caught in the air by OSM's low shot. Sweaty followed this and that just gave Lighty a little bit of doubt. So there you go. Even though Sweaty didn't hit that rebound, he tried to fly after that and maybe go for a tight angle rebound from his own setup. His presence alone was enough to dissuade Lighty from going and intercepting the, the ball and that gave OSM a free shot. And it was good placement by OSM to all. Is he finally going to get a win on the board? Win the lobby for Light or for Sweaty in the process. He might indeed have a chance to do so. So it's why he's trying to get out of the way. OSM puts it into the post. Oh no. They were so close. But it is indeed the blue team who are going to take the lead on the counter. Oh no, OSM. What is happening? <laughs> Such a shame. Sweaty gets annihilated as well by the ambush. 
Is it going to be another heartbreak for OSM? He just can't catch a break on stream. He just wants everybody to swing by his stream and give him some love, but nobody wants to see a loser. He doesn't need to worry about that, though. It's sweaty. And these aerial mechanics. Great double touch by sweaty. Alex would have had a tough time saving a direct shot because he was, you know, rotating into the goal as that rebound came in, but I love it from Soweti. He makes it almost impossible to stop. Double cheat by both teams. These guys are not not afraid of kickoffs. And Soweti takes the lead. Is he going to be the unanimous victor? Alex 161, way out of position. Goes for the boost instead of the ball. Probably regrets it because Soweti had the accuracy, he had the power, and he might have just secured the victory. 22 seconds is all that separates OSM from his first win in this drill match. Sweaty with the reverse 45 degree flick, this time slow, but OSM has looked more solid this game than any other in defense. Gets done by Lighty though. Lighty and, or Alex rather. Lighty and Alex not quite done, but they might not even have another shot. They have no more say in this series, GG's. And it is Sweaty who takes the win. And a well-deserved win for Sweaty with that individual goal at the end there to double touch for the victory. And OSM says thanks. He's just happy he got a win. Thanks for the carry. Well, I mean, it was three assists, three saves for OSM. He did well this game. His best game defensively for sure. GG's. I'm just going to take the score down in case anybody tunes in and gets that YouTube video spoiled. But uh, it, it was Sweaty who got the win, of course.